Hi, this is Doug with Design Aid Studio with a quick follow-up to my video yesterday in order to give more details about the Mesa name brand torch height controller modules that are available and which one you should select, as well as uh, providing links in the description to both the Mesa brand stepper controller uh, interface cards, as well as their torch height controller cards explaining the differences and uh, helping you to be able to make an informed decision. Also a quick update on a remix and redo of my 3D printed case that is going to be holding the torch height controller module, mounting it to the plasma machine. So uh, real quickly, my originally designed model, I took the risk of trying to have screw holes that uh, did not work in the in the best orientation with regard to layer adhesion issues. I was able to get away with that uh, on one assembly, but on a disassembly and reassembly that came back to bite me. The um, the screw hole wells broke apart, and so rather than being able to assemble it with screws in this way uh, from the cover, uh, I shifted. I uh, re re remixed, redesigned it last night and shifted to an approach where these ears stick off and screws will be able to go through um, uh, these tabs here to assemble in that way. So this is a completely uh, redesigned and reprinted uh, uh, mount box. The other thing is I started looking at how to try to mount it onto my plasma machine. I really was kind of reluctant to drill holes in the casing, uh, but I tried some Velcro and even some rubber cement. And uh, because the uh, finish is so smooth and the plastic is tough to adhere to, uh, I wasn't able to get good results. And I really do want it to be secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill four small holes and tap them uh, for uh, little M3 screws. Uh, I'll be using a 330 seconds drill bit uh, to drill the four holes, and then I'll follow that up with an M3 uh, drill tap. Link in the description. Uh, I bought a set of drill taps from uh, Amazon, and they've been immensely helpful. And uh, I should mention that the very commonly used M5 tap I actually broke the tip of it off while uh, tapping holes in Unistrut uh, for my Lowrider 3, my first Lowrider 3. But I was able to sharpen the tip of the remaining tap and I've kept on using it. And it's still giving me good service even though it's uh, shorter than, than ideal. Let me say a couple of things in answer to questions in the comments. One of the questions was, can a Mesa torch height control module also control the steppers? And the answer to that is no. You'd need two Mesa cards, one to control the steppers and one for your torch height control. I, I do want to say also a huge thanks and many kudos to Kyle of the V1 Engineering Forum. He goes by username KD2018 uh, for his immensely helpful plasma build thread and both Ryan, the founder of V1 Engineering, and me, and, and no doubt others, have been using Kyle's tutorials and build thread as a guide in building our own plasma. Uh, Ryan started before I did and got done before I did, which he's done and I'm not. Um, but uh, also many thanks to Ryan, uh, who goes by the username Vicious One at the V1 Engineering Forum. And also, uh, I'm hugely impressed with Peter, Peter C. Wallace, the founder of Mesa. He's been, he's tremendously knowledgeable and he designs these products and he's active on the Linux CNC Forum. Um, huge uh, kudos to Peter. He goes by PCW on the Linux CNC Forum. He's been responsive to me both by email and in the forum and other Linux CNC forum members have been very responsive and helpful. One of the questions that came in was, um, what about a plasma machine that, that has a one-to-one -one ratio and doesn't have a voltage divider or voltage reducer? 
does Mesa have a torch height control module for that? And the answer is yes. And my plasma machine is a one-to-one -one ratio without a voltage divider, uh, without a reducer. And I bought my torch height module first before buying my plasma machine. And um, when, I, when I bought my THC AD2, uh, which is one that is made for a plasma machine that has a voltage reducer. I had in mind that I would buy a plasma machine that had a voltage reducer, but there are so many variables to shop for and in trying to get the best value and comparing all these features to price, uh, it slipped out of my mind and I wound up selecting one <clears throat> that really shines uh, the Hynaid brand Cut 60D in. It really shines in a lot of areas uh, but it slipped my mind that I was buying one that is a one-to-one -one ratio without a voltage divider. So I sent Peter C. Wallace, the founder of Mesa, I sent him a message asking, uh, could I return this or was there an option for using it? And he wrote back telling me that I could indeed return it for a refund, or if I wanted to, I could buy an affordable uh, high-voltage uh resistor and this is a 2.4 m high voltage resistor and if i put this externally in the negative lead on the way to this then it will effectively be a voltage reducer it will uh, it will give me a 250 uh, full range and be a voltage reducer and so i understood a little bit of what he was saying enough to you know take off and follow his advice but I wasn't really grasping fully all the details yet at that time it took some more talking uh, dialoguing on the forum to kind of get a better handle on it and get some more answers to questions so Mesa sells four different models of torch height control modules and their naming scheme goes like this. First of all, they sell one for plasma machines that have a one-to-one -one ratio with no reducer. And that model is a THC AD-300. So that's torch height control, analog to digital converter. And the 300 indicates that it will take full voltage current and it will divide it itself and give you 300 discrete range uh, for your torch height control. So the THC AD300 is, would have been ideal for me to buy for my one-to-one -one ratio plasma machine. They originally then also sold two um, THC modules for working with uh, plasma machines that have a voltage reducer. One of them was for a five volt and it was labeled THC AD5. And one of them was for 10 volts and it was labeled THC AD10. Then they came out with this one, which is THC AD2. And my understanding is the two is, is denoting the fact that this one can emulate either of those other two cards by simply setting a jumper, the W1 jumper. If this W1 jumper is in the up position, then this emulates a THC8010. If you put this W1 jumper into the lower position, then this card emulates a THC8005. So this can do either 10 volts or 5 volts, depending on this jumper configuration. So I have it set to emulate a THC AD10. And when I'm setting up my Linux CNC configuration in PNC Conf Wizard, when it asks me which Mesa THC model I have, I tell it that I have a 10. And by the way, this resistor in combination with this acting as a 10 means that when the Linux CNC Wizard, the PNC Conf Wizard, asks me what my uh, voltage ratio is, I change it from the default of 20 to 25, which was the answer told to me by Peter on the Linux CNC forum. So uh, 
those modules can only take care of torch height control. They do not control the steppers. And for that, you need either a Mesa 7i96 or a Mesa 7i96s. The S uh, has uh, kind of uh, replaced the 7i96. If you still have access to a 7i96, you can use it. Or if you find a used one and you, you buy it, you can use it. But if you buy new from the Mesa store, you'll need to go ahead and get the 7i96s that I showed in my video that I posted yesterday morning. All right, so I'm going to leave the, the camera running while I go ahead and drill some holes. Uh, I should mention that I've already used a Sharpie to mark the location where I'm going to drill. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and use a mallet or hammer uh, with a punch and try to set some dents for uh, getting this done but I might have to reassemble this thing in order to get that to work because this is kind of precarious as it is. And this is an M3 tap. All right, quick and easy. Okay, so using a two millimeter Allen key for the M3. Well, actually, uh, I've got to use uh, a regular Phillips screwdriver first to do some assembly on that newly printed case. First thing I've got to do is I've got to attach the screws in the bottom that will attach the plate for the um, aviation style quick connects. And in case you're wondering, why didn't I just 3D print this piece with this wall coming right straight up? And the reason is because of the layer line direction, the layer adhesion issue. So I wanted, I wanted these layer lines running this way, and I wanted these layer lines running this way. So that gives me the maximum strength on the parts. So this is 3D printed with standoffs to hold the torch height controller module. I should mention also that many of my 3D designs I make available for free on printables.com. But occasionally, uh, I will reserve something just for my Patreon supporters. And so if you support me on Patreon for any amount, even a dollar a month, you would get access to uh, some 3D models that I make available only to Patreon supporters, and this is one of those models.
pretty impressed with this plasma cutter. Uh, it's not, you know, the famous name brand that everybody's heard of and uses, but I've been really pleased with it. But there you have it. My Mesa THC AD2 mounted to the side of my plasma machine. All right, this video has already run a bit lengthy, so uh, let me go ahead and head on into the rest of my morning. But until the next video, this is Doug with Design 8 Studio, and I wish you happy making.